Hi, I'm Di with Sister Chicks Quilting and welcome to my channel. As promised, I've got two finished quilts to show you from my quilt retreat. But you know what I thought? A video isn't fun unless there's a lot of quilts, right? So I'm going to show all of the quilts that we finished from our quilt retreat. Here goes. Hang on. <laughs> Coral Block had the first finish, which is not unusual in our group. She's what we call a speed sewer. And she made this beautiful heart quilt. Before we photographed it in the house though, we thought it would be cool because as we like to do, we love to show nature and the quilts. You know what? This was just a little breeze blowing when we went out and tried to get a picture and it was not working at all, as you can see. And you might notice there's a big white dog that's a whole nother story, but bottom line, this dog from a mile and a half down the road adopted us. It was incredible and he shed like you would not believe. aqua block kicked in and whipped out these four star quilts and then about the same time she finished these two gingham quilts now she did have the half square triangles already done before she came to the retreat so she's at six quilts already and we're just like ah struggling with what we had to do She's also quite the chain piecer and a speed sewer. Okay, here it is. This is my 90 by 90 plus quilt for my grandson. It's a little more blue than I imagined, but I really had a difficult time laying out black next to gray next to black next to gray. So I used a lot of the blue as you can see. It's a big one. It's going to go on his king-size bed. I can't believe I'm doing this, but he wants cuddle on the backing. So it's going to have black cuddle on the backing. I think it'll be stunning when it's done, but he is going to be super duper happy with it. Now, I also made him a set of matching pillowcases, and these are them. This gray Robin Pickens with the Juicy Juice as the cuff and a blue as the accent strip. I really like the way the pillowcases turned out and I've never made pillowcases to match quilts before. This is a first for me, so it's kind of fun to do. We had a new friend join us for the first time. We joked around that she was on probation. She doesn't have a block color name. One day maybe she will if we choose to do another swap block. We're just gonna call her Proby for now because we were joking around that we have her on probation. I wanted to show you this picture of Proby's pants after she finished her quilt. Can you guys relate? Because I sure can. This is the quilt that she finished, this beautiful snowflake quilt. And she'd have had her second quilt finished. However, she ended up doing a little bit of unpicking. Okay, a lot of unpicking. But she plowed through and got it done. This is yellow block with this beautiful table topper. Does it look familiar? It's where I got the idea for the one at my retreat. I love, love, love this pattern. It's the Moda Love pattern. And she and a few of us bought this kit at her very first retreat five years ago, 2016. And she finally was putting hers together. So it's gorgeous, don't you think? So Purple Block was unable to join us for most of the retreat. And we were so sad over that because we adore her. But she has got a super busy, super packed family life. Guess what? She was able to come for the last night. And this was the first time that our Scrap Jar Stars swap quilts were together completed. Well, I'm going to say completed kind of tongue in cheek because one and a half bindings were done on the scrap jar stars. There was two of them that didn't get their bindings on yet. But anyway, 
here they all are. Don't you think they're magnificent? I love them. I'm so glad we did this project. So here we are in order, left to right. We have coral block, yellow block, blue block, green block, that's me, aqua block, purple, and pink block. You know, aqua block was not happy with just six finishes. She had to throw in another one. So she pulled out this layer cake with animal prints. Now, I do not care for animal prints, but... I was so impressed with how she worked this up. She cut them in half and put a black strip in between each one. So the blocks had some interest. She turned the, each one every other way and then she put them together in three sections. I love this quilt. It sure turned out great. What do you think? One thing I haven't shown you yet is my finished panel art quilt. Yes, I finished it. I know some of you aren't going to like it, but you know what? It's done. I'm keeping it the way it is. This is it. It was, I think it turned out really nice. Whoever ends up with this quilt, I think will really enjoy it. I'm going to call it Log Cabin in the Woods because I've got the log cabins around it. And then several people are encouraging me to put it in some shows because it's such an original quilt. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen with that one. I do know that I think I want to quilt it in wood grain. Sounds good to me. Coral Block always has fun patterns. She finished this really cute sunflower quilt for a friend of hers. I think it turned out darling. What do you think? And then Pink Block finished this quilt. We're going to call it the three retreat quilt and probably a lot in between. She's been working on it for a long time. She bought it as a kit and they just barely put enough fabric in it. Have you ever had a kit like that? It was infuriating. You can't make a mistake. And so she's been working on this for quite a while and she is so happy to have it done. And I think it's a stunner. Don't you think it looks like my Crossroads quilt that I did? It's very similar pattern to the Crossroads quilt. It's just put together a little differently. And last of not least is my buddy Blue Block. She finished this beautiful tulip pink flannel quilt. She has everything on it but the two borders. There's going to be a black striped border and then a green buffalo print border. And this one is for a family member of hers. They are going to love it. So I think she did an excellent job on this. You know, she is an excellent piecer. When I quilt her quilts, oh my gosh, they're square. And sometimes mine aren't always square. Okay, what did you guys think of the quilt tour? I kind of had fun. But as you know, we were close. Well, maybe you don't know. We were close to the gathering place. Do any of you out there have a favorite designer that is just like your kryptonite? You can't not buy her. You can't not buy her lines. Well, mine is Allison Glass, and I ended up getting Ellipse. I am so in love with it. Do I know what I'm doing with it? No. You know, it might go in my Allison Glass shrine, which is here, here, and here. But let me show that to you because I think you're going to like it. This is some of it. And this is some of it. And here is some more. Isn't it just gorgeous? And then, sadly, <laughs> this is the last of it. I am so in love with this fabric. Do I know what I'm going to do with it? No. I would love it if you would tell me in the comments below 
who your favorite designer is that you just can't not buy her fabric lines. Again, mine's Allison Glass, I've confessed. Well, I would like to thank everybody for tuning into my video today. And one last thing, I want to tell you what I'm doing next week. Are you going anywhere for Thanksgiving? Because if you are, I have a cute little project that you can whip up and I'll have a link to the pattern. It's going to be so cute. You will be able to take this as a hostess gift and I'm telling you, your Thanksgiving guests, whether they're family or friends, are going to go crazy for it. It's so cute. So that's what we're doing next week. We'll get a head start on Thanksgiving. And then after that, oh my gosh, you guys, full bore into Christmas. Hang on to your sleighs because we're going for a ride. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Bye.